And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat and a cup of coffee. And uh, we're closing in on the end of the month and we're getting ready now for the fast in honor of the Dormition of the Virgin Mary. It's already, believe it or not, Decap and Davgusto, as we say, the 15-day fast uh, in August as we're getting ready for Chimisis, for the falling asleep or the Dormition of the Virgin Mary, the feast day in honor of the Mother of God, the Theotokos. And so I thought for today I would just throw out a little idea, you know, dealing with the fast, talk about it a little bit, uh, getting ready for that, because it's a great opportunity. These fasts in the summer, they're great opportunities, right? And so we have fasting all year long, right? We have big fasts, uh, you know, there's a 40 day fast for Christmas, there's a 40 day fast, of course, as we know, plus for Pascha, for Easter. And then there's a shorter fast. This year it was about 10 days for the Holy Apostles, end of June. Depends on how early or late Easter is. And then in August, there's always this 15-day fast in honor of the Virgin Mary, two weeks. And these ones in the summer, these are the little ones. But these are the ones that are really, really beneficial. And I have found over the years very beneficial in making progress uh, in the spiritual life. You know, think about that. People think about fasting. They think Holy Week. Right, Megali of Domada, they think Saracosti, Holy and Great Lent. But really, we need to also think about the smaller ones because, in terms of training, right, spiritual discipline and exercise, it's easier to sustain something for a shorter period of time. So, you have two weeks coming up, right? You have services that are being celebrated regularly. Usually, they are the Paraclesi services, the canons of supplication. Uh, the most beautiful services, among the most beautiful services that we celebrate uh, and favorite services of people in, in the year of the church, liturgical year. You have them almost every day in some parishes every day, but you have this short little fast. It's only two weeks. So it's easy to say, you know what, I'm really going to try to work on something. And you know, if you talk to a lot of developmental psychologists, they'll tell you it takes a couple of weeks to be able to establish a new habit, right? It doesn't take 40 days, really, you can establish a new habit in right around two weeks. So whatever we're going to pick, this is a great time to say, wow, I don't have to worry about 40 days for Lent and then another eight days or seven days for Holy Week. Uh, two weeks, I can say, you know what, I want to work on something. I want to try to fast a little bit every day, remembering uh, Christ in my life, remembering and honoring the Mother of God. I want to try to pray a little bit. Maybe I'm struggling with prayer. I want to pray every night or every morning. I'm just not doing it. And I'd like to work on that. Great. Two weeks, we can work on it. You can try. You know, say the prayers before you go to bed. Say prayers when you wake up. Whatever you can do. And get into the habit of doing it. And in, in two weeks, it's not so long that we can't say, well, come on, I can do it. Just a few more days. And then once you've gotten used to doing it, Maybe you can hold on to a little bit and keep on doing it after the fast is over. Whether it's fasting itself, um, which again is not just about the food that we eat, but about spiritual discipline and spiritual exercise, sacrifice and discipline, training our bodies to know that it's our, it's our soul that's in charge, not our body that's in charge. Whether it's fasting itself, whether it's prayer, whether it's reading the scripture or you know, writings of the saints or just something that's spiritually beneficial, whether it's going to the church services, whether it's performing works of mercy, volunteering, donating, helping people, whatever it is, set that goal from now before the fast starts on the first. Set it from now and say, a little goal, a little something that I can do. It's only two weeks. I know I can do it. And then maybe after the fast is over on the 15th, the Panahia, the Virgin Mary, um, I have an icon of her right here as uh, the sort of protectress of Mount Athos. She'll give us the ability and the strength and the love and the grace, uh, of course, coming from her son, from God himself, to be able to continue that and to grow and to benefit in the spiritual life. Once again, may our Lord and Savior bless us and keep us this day and every day. Amen.